Projected top 10 pick on ESPN's 2022 mock draft, Patrick Baldwin Jr. is taking the road less traveled this coming season as he bypassed the opportunity to form a big three down in Durham to instead play for his father at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. With a combination of smooth shot making and dynamic positional versatility, the 6 foot 9, 220 pound swing forward will stand out as the Horizon League's premier attraction. Baldwin is fresh off a gold medal in this summer's FIBA U19 tournament, and he'll look to continue building off that success as the man in Milwaukee. Welcome to the film session, Patrick Baldwin Jr., an NBA draft deep dive evaluating why the 2020 Gatorade Wisconsin Player of the Year may be one of the best wings in the 2022 NBA draft. Patrick Baldwin Jr. is going to be one of the draft's most intriguing prospects to keep tabs on during the 2022 draft cycle. PBJ's shot making in combination with his perfect modern day wing size is what every NBA team wants to get their hands on. Baldwin Jr.'s form is picturesque, and he can already knock down shots in a multitude of ways. The ability to play either wing spot, Baldwin projects to be a deadly floor spacer in catch and shoot scenarios. Botch a rotation, and PBJ will kill your defense. Not just a standstill shooter, Baldwin has already shown flashes of knocking down threes off movement. Send Baldwin off of pin downs, and he's smooth enough to step right into a shot and let it fly. Give PBJ a DHO partner and watch him kill defenders that dare go under. Baldwin also projects to be a deadly trail man, serving as the perfect outlet to step into semi-transition three ball. Just 18 years old, Baldwin Jr. has already shown an incredibly diverse shot-making package. PBJ is still developing a consistent off-the-bounce three ball, but the flashes are certainly there. He uses a skillful handle and his great positional size to shoot over defenders. The range isn't fully there yet, but I'd buy the future development. The form is way too pretty, and he's already so good off ball. Add that to the fact that he's a devastating mid-range shooter, and with time, he'll be knocking down off the bounce threes with ease. The necessary on-ball development as a scorer is why it was the right move to go and be the man on his own team this season. At Duke, he'd be playing too much off of Boncaro, but at Milwaukee, he'll have the freedom to explore the depths of his on-ball potential. Getting back to his bread and butter, Baldwin has shown a ridiculously deep bag getting to the mid-range jumper. You can give him the ball in the mid-post where he's shown a highly advanced fadeaway game. The touch and footwork is absurd for a teenager. If he gets a smaller defender, he'll just rise up and shoot over you. Baldwin will use combo moves to get you leaning and dribble into the pull-up, and he can take the ball down the floor in transition and stop on a dime to smoothly drop it in. The mid-range game isn't the most analytically friendly stat for most players, but when it's nut check time, it becomes an important weapon for the game's best scorers. Baldwin's game is built on more finesse than power, and his jumper should, in theory, open up his driving game, but he needs to show off more of a willingness to attack the hoop. He doesn't need to be the fearless rim slasher that Russell Westbrook is, but he does need to make more of an effort to attack the hoop in non-transition-oriented opportunities. As it stands, Baldwin Jr. is most comfortable attacking the break or on broken plays where the defense is in scramble mode. These downhill drives, both in isolation and in pick-and-roll sets, are important not only for Baldwin to thrive as a scorer, but also as a playmaker. Baldwin has spent a lot of time playing off-ball with both his AAU squads and the FIBA team, but true on-ball creation involves the ability to make everyone better. PBJ has shown nice touch on pick and roll passes and can really create and transition. He'll need to work on making the more advanced reads out of the pick and roll, but the secondary creation potential is there. Baldwin's ability to get downhill consistently at the next level will tell us exactly how much creation potential he has going forward. Defensively, Baldwin has the size and frame that should allow him to guard both forward spots. On the ball, Baldwin gets low and wide and has fluid lateral mobility to keep up with wings and at the lower levels allows him to swallow up guards. He isn't perfect, but he gives good effort and makes his man work, often forcing ball handling wings into tough shots and your defense won't fall apart when a big takes him into the post. Off the ball, PBJ's size allows him to be disruptive around the rim where he's shown a knack for coming from the weak side and altering shots. Baldwin won't be a primary rim protector at the next level, but his ability to switch up and down a lineup is perfect for how basketball has trended in recent hoop history. Baldwin Jr. is going to be one of college basketball's most interesting players when he steps on the court for the Panthers. He has the pedigree and accolades to live up to the lofty expectations he set for himself when he bypassed playing for major conference teams. Baldwin will have the ball in his hands and get the chance to be the man, and if he balls out to the best of his abilities, he set a path to play his way into the top five of the 2022 NBA Draft.